Now we're back to learning mid journey. Let us explore the remix mode a little bit. We'll start with the almighty doge. Let me make it just a single word prompt. And we'll go to the documentation. You can use the remix mode to create variations with altered prompts, added parameters. So it gives you a little bit more room to adjust your previous generations. There are two ways to turn it on. The command prefer remix. It toggles between on and off and within the settings. Let's go over this. At first, prefer remix. Or just type in, for example, slash p. And you can find it here, left click. Press enter. And then you know what your remix mode is right now. I have it turned off now. I paste it again, prefer remix, and now it's turned on. You can also go to settings, as I've said, and here's this big box. Remix mode, when it's green, it's on. When it's grayish, it's off. So just left click on it and turn it on or off, depending on what you want. Our doge is almost done. You can see our remix mode is turned on. And if we now click on a variation for one of these, for example, number four, a new window will pop up. It's the remix prompt. So instead of giving you just four variations, you can now add parts to the prompt. Let's make it a cartoon style and then submit it. And now the variation button is also green. When you have the remix mode turned off, it's always bluish. Let me turn it off and I create variations for number three. You can see this button is now bluish. While these variations are running, let me turn the remix mode on again. And we'll have a look at the documentation yet again. Here it says so, green, it's turned on, blue, it's turned off. We can access it via settings, prefer remix, we've done that. And here are the steps explained yet again. So we have our remix prompt editor, you could say, popping up. And you can change entire styles like this, add parameters. And this creates these very, let's say, targeted variations. Here's our first doge, it was the one without the remix. So remix variations take a little bit longer. Keep that in mind when you try it. So when you don't have something specifically that you want to add as remix, it's a good idea to turn it off. Let us remix it again, and this time we'll also change the aspect ratio. This is also possible. You can add parameters during the remix, but not all parameters are legit or are allowed when you create a remix. Here's our final one. It has turned what we had and made it cartoonish. Let us use maybe variation two and we'll add black and white to it. Or let me make it black and white colors. It's not going to make the entire image black and white, but it's going to make these colors more prominent in the image generation. And here's our 16 by nine. So this parameter also worked during the remix. It runs, so we'll have a chance to check our documentation and here's explained what parameters we can use during remix and which we can't. We can also remove parameters. But for example, stylize, we can't affect that. The only ones that we could add in remix is aspect ratio, no, stop, tile and video. And for example, stylize, it would give you an error because it's currently, or at least for model version 4, incompatible. I checked it for model version 5.2 and it seems to run though. So in the new version, a couple of these parameters can still be used, but I haven't yet found an overview. When I find one, I'm going to make an update in my mid-journey playlist. But for now, just keep in mind aspect ratio, the ones that are checked here, we can use them definitely. 
the other ones maybe, maybe not. Here are our new remixes. As I've said, black and white, it makes these colors more prominent, but it hasn't turned it completely black and white. And here's our 16x9. We were able to change the aspect ratio using Remix. Let me show you something else. We will upscale one of these, maybe number three. And when we upscale, we can also vary a region. And now, as we have Remix activated, we can also change the prompt here. So let's just say we want to have the left hand side affected. I use the lasso tool, make a selection right here. And now I change the prompt. What can we add? Let's say stars and stripes. Maybe it gives us a flag. We'll submit. If you want to read more about Baby Region and Remix, specific section right here in the documentation, but it basically just explains what I've just shown you. So we upscale an image, we'll select a certain area, and then we change the prompt. You could, for example, make one of these rivers into a pathway. You can add a balloon. So this upscaling and then varying the region is possible time and time again for the same image or for the same original image. Here are a couple of examples. Let us jump back. Our Stars and Stripes is in the works. Not perfect results. Maybe I should have added flag, but this works. Let us upscale number three. We we'll use very region again. We definitely want to have the flag up to here. And now we also want to select this part and give the Doge sunglasses. So we'll try to change two things at once. Doge wearing sunglasses, stars and stripes in the background. And I submit it. For my experience so far, it's better to address one issue in an image at a time. So doing two at once. It's definitely more of a gamble than just than adjusting only one. Here you can see it, we've got sunglass in the one, but the flag is way better in number two. So let us use number two. Our very region again for this and add the sunglasses. Still didn't work perfectly. Let me show you what you can also do. We'll use this and now we'll delete the entire prompt except for sunglasses. And now we'll select this region. We'll submit it again. And now we've increased our chances of getting good sunglasses. Still not a perfect result. So you have to prompt it, vary it again a couple of times, a couple of iterations, but you get the idea. And this is all that I wanted to cover in this video for Remix Mode. 
as I've said, when I find a good overview of what parameters we can use in version 5 and higher, I'm going to give you an update. But I hope this video was already helpful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.